guys, Adrienne here. In today's video, it's going to be my college night routine. I tried to choose a day where I was going to be on campus and still be doing stuff. I have a couple meetings today and once I start moving, I won't be stopping. So I'm going to start filming from the evening and as my day winds down. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment and turn on your post notifications so you can know whenever i post a video let me know of any videos that you want to see more of or anything that i haven't done just let me know in the comments down below i just posted my you all homecoming and a southern homecoming these past two weeks so make sure you check those out so yeah let's just get into the video leaving my room about to go choir and I went to go see my mentee and they told me that she switched gym classes so I have to start going to see her way earlier than I'm used to. But yeah, I'm going to choir. So yeah, this is when my evening really starts. I'm heading over to choir and it's not super far from my dorm so I can get there like right when it starts and yes this is where all of the singing happens and this is what the layout is and we're performing these songs our big performance that's coming up so yep we're just getting those in then I head to the black student union meeting head right next door to the black women's leadership association meeting and this is a great org that is just about empowering women and giving back to our community. Then Black Student Union ended up collabing with our meeting. This time it was really spontaneous, but they're having a Women's Health Day and they had someone speak about the importance of really just being healthy and seeking help if needed. <laughs> risk factors are the same, maybe a little bit more of a, a predisposition of high blood pressure in African Americans, but a lot of that, as studies show more, is not necessarily that we, our bodies are different per se, it's that our seeking help and access is different. We're going to wait till the last minute, we're going to uh, be afraid of the doctors, we may, in our communities, we may not have access and healthcare uh, facilities to be able to get there, so um, if anything, you could take to your uh, parents, uncles, you guys when you get older. Even with stuff y'all are dealing with now, as far as like the prevalence of STDs and breast cancer and things of that nature. Do, ladies, do your own self uh, breast checks. Don't be afraid to get checked. If something's not right, go get it checked out. Do not be afraid because it can harm you uh, later and have large amount of implications and uh, adverse events members, friends, all that smoke, and like mama, daddy, uncle, if you get them to quit smoking, they decrease their chance by heart attack by 50% in one year. There is no medicine that does that. If they did have a medicine and I would develop that, no offense, I wouldn't be with y'all today because I would be on my little private island fishing because <laughs> everybody would want to buy that medication. 50% in one year, there's nothing we do that does that better. So. <laughs> So after those meetings, I head over to dinner with my friends and the calf had some okay food this day. They had barbecue chicken. And after that, I head out and I had to choreograph this night. So I went over to see my friends after I got off the elevator and we got a lot done. So, you know, we just chat. And that's the choreographer that I was sitting next to. And of course I found some more free food. So now I'm about to head back to my room and the door is already open so I really like that I have to get my keys out and I just like to unwind and I get to talk to my roomie which is something I really like to do we just talk about our day and stuff and then I get on social media and just see what I've missed then I watch some choreography this is one of my favorite choreographers Jojo Gomez and I like to get inspired and I love Casey Rice that's her right there then I get my Bible app and I read the plan I'm on right now, which is the wisdom of Proverbs. And it's a great app, you get a devotional, a word, and then I just 
read over it and write what I got from that message, try to get into my word daily. But then I check the weather and as you see, it's about to rain. So I try to dress accordingly. So after looking at the weather, I get an idea of what I need to wear for the next day. I do have to dance, so I like to wear comfy clothes. And I wake up super early in the morning, so I like to save all the sleep I can get by just sleeping in the clothes that I'm wearing since they're comfy anyway. And I get on Pinterest and try to get some inspo from things that I've saved in my folders. And yeah, I'll just scroll on there until something catches my eye and head over to my armoire and pick out my outfit. <laughs> Before I get in my shower, I like to see how I want to wear my hair for the next day. Like I said, I like to just save as much sleep as possible. Peep this picture I took in this outfit today, A.L. Taylor underscore on Instagram. So yeah, um, I thought I wanted to wear an updo because I normally don't wear my hair up, but I ended up wearing my hair down anyway because I just did not like the way it turned out in the morning. But yep, yeah, I'm getting ready for my shower. So whenever I'm in the shower, I take that alone time for me and God to just, you know, talk it out. And I listen to my worship music. So I got some Lecrae on here, Kirk Franklin. And I wanted to just shout out this album that I just started listening to this year. It just came out, uh, Tori Kelly's album, Hiding Place. So, so good. My favorite song on there is Soul's Anthem and Masterpiece. I listen to Masterpiece like every morning and yep i just get in the shower and shuffle my playlist and yep after i get out i like to do my face routine and like i said y'all i wear the clothes i'm wearing in the morning because I gotta savor the sleep but i do use uh, dickinson's witch hazel and the pure castile soap i also use the soap in the shower and yep, I just distribute it all around my face. A little goes a long way. Then I also use tea tree oil and I use rose water from Ulta as well. After I'm done with everything in the bathroom, I like to just get my backpack together. As you can see, I have a long day ahead of me. This is my longest day. I have four classes back to back. So yep i try to just hop in the bed i try not to get on social media as much before i go to sleep because that can keep me up for a long time but thank you guys for watching this video i hope you really enjoyed it like comment and subscribe and check out my videos i posted and i'll see you guys next time